the booming health corridor vital to West Michigan, past, present, and future. Making the medical mile. The medical mile. It's become as much a part of downtown Grand Rapids as DeVos Place, the Van Andel Arena, and Grand Valley State University. But it didn't start that way. It started as a vision to give Grand Rapids a strong economic base founded in life sciences. But it would take investment and patience. One of the founding collaborators, Dave Van Andel, president and CEO of the Van Andel Institute, made that very clear over the years. Here he is in August of 2007. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And we knew that going in, that this was going to take a long time to develop all this. What we didn't know was how much could be accomplished in just 15 years. This is what would become the medical mile through investment, collaboration, and construction. I'm not sure what we thought. I knew it was going to be a long haul. Dave Van Andel, chairman and CEO of the Van Andel Institute, remembers the beginning of the expansion of the medical mile 15 years ago. We started with nothing, really. I mean, we, we started with an idea. An idea that by pulling together the medical community, Grand Rapids could create a life sciences corridor that would give the city a strong economic base. I knew that it was going to take a long time to make the initial investments and begin the work of changing, if you will, not just the discussion, but what it is that we're doing. What they were doing was collaborating. We had to change the way that people thought, and then we also had to bring all of those disparate groups together to rally around this concept. And they were building. In 2008, Spectrum Health opened the Lemon Holden Cancer Pavilion. The work we're doing here impacts multiple generations. In 2009, the Van Andel Institute completed phase two of their research facility. And as talks continued around expanding the medical mile, it soon became clear they needed a medical research school to succeed. The educational institutions help uh, bring in federal dollars and grants and other kinds of resources, and a medical school is the key to a lot of that. Dean Aaron Souza understands the role that Michigan State University played in moving the medical mile forward. One of the things about a philanthropic community like Grand Rapids is it can push institutions together to collaborate. This is a team effort. In 2007 came the announcement that MSU's College of Human Medicine would be based in Grand Rapids. Ready? Go! In 2010, MSU's Med School opened their new building at the Secchia Center on Michigan Street. And since then, it's pumped millions into the local economy. The Michigan State part of the Medical Mile brings about $350 million into the Grand Rapids community. Much of that is through federal grant money that wouldn't otherwise be available without a medical research institution like MSU. That's a lot of people going to lunch. That's a lot of people who are here to do things in West Michigan. We feel really good about that. We're a you know, land-grant institution, a part of our job is to help the community, and, and economic development is one of those. But MSU wasn't the only one taking up new residents on the medical mile. In January 2011, Spectrum Health opened the new Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, which would become home to some of the biggest breakthroughs in childhood cancer and diseases. And now we have a treatment for kids here in West Michigan, but also throughout the world. In just four years, between 2007 and 2011, the medical mile went from this to this, and it was just getting started. With the purchase of the Grand Rapids Press Building, MSU was able to continue their plans to develop the corner of Michigan and Monroe, literally turning the corner for the medical mile. In 2017, MSU opened their research center. Great. And in 2021, the Doug Meyer Medical Innovation Center. The medical mile was not only changing the skyline of downtown Grand Rapids, it was changing job opportunities. Investment in the buildings was done. We all knew that once that was accomplished, then it became the challenge of populating those buildings with the minds and, and the bright people that go along with that to, to make it come to life. It was time to invest in the people who were going to make the medical mile a destination for healthcare and medical research.
we saw um, 46% job growth um, over the last 15 years. Coming up, the Medical Mile creates 60,000 jobs and pumps more than $2 billion into the local economy. And it's only getting started. Making the Medical Mile. These are the research institutions that helped create more than 60,000 life science jobs for the Medical Mile. And that number is expected to double in the next decade. Abdullah Baghdadi, Autumn Losi, Joseph Mariscal, Joita Macfield. You're looking at the future of the Medical Mile. The doctors, researchers that may one day discover cures for cancer and other diseases. You will make the world a better place. You will make people healthier. They are just part of the nearly 4,000 health and medical graduates that enter the workforce every year. In addition, nearly 10,000 STEM degrees are also awarded annually, and their medical and research expertise is going to be needed. The Medical Mile has created 60,000 jobs over the past 15 years, and that number is expected to double in the next decade. It's truly remarkable to think back how far we've come. Randy Thielen with The Right Place has done the research. We saw 46% job growth um, over the last 15 years in, in the whole health sciences field. We'll do it this way. And that job growth didn't just come in the form of doctors, nurses, and researchers. It also came from innovation. Startup companies that are finding success on the medical mile. We have 50 medical device companies now throughout West Michigan. We're the largest concentration of medical device companies um, in Michigan. Companies like Grand River Aseptic Manufacturing, or GRAM, that's currently making a vaccine for the monkeypox right here in West Michigan. We were honored to be selected. As a result, Graham President and CEO Tom Ross expects to increase the number of employees at their West Michigan plant. We believe that we have enough new clients coming on board and, and enough future growth that we're excited about what that means for, for the new employees at, at our company. And they aren't the only ones with big news. In May, Banff Health opened its doors on the Medical Mile. Located in MSU's Innovation Park, it's home to the most advanced full-body PET MRI scan in the world. It will be used to diagnose and help treat stage four cancers. We know and we don't afraid to make big things happen. And that's what I love about this community. That's how we start. Banff Health is expected to add 200 jobs to the Medical Mile. It's an expertise that I suspect was maybe even beyond the initial vision of the, of the region. And now, again, we're serving the world. It's, it's an exciting spot for us to be. The Right Place compiled the statistics. They show 86% of medical device companies in the region plan to expand and 71% plan to increase their number of employees. I think it's exciting to see continue to, to take off. There's also been a 27% increase in the health science industry in West Michigan over the last 10 years, pumping nearly two billion into the local economy. I think the pace has probably been a little bit faster than maybe some would imagine. But the Medical Mile isn't just changing Grand Rapids physical and economic landscape. It's also changing our cultural landscape to help make Grand Rapids more diverse. I'd like to think that we've been able to help that process along. We have a long way to go, yes we do, but uh, we're going to continue to do our part in that and hopefully other people will do their part as a result of that. The Van Andel Institute has recruited researchers from 38 different countries. It gets people thinking differently and it gets them thinking bigger picture and it gets them thinking about more possibilities than what they might have in the past. Michigan State University also making an effort to tap into those same talents with 25% of their faculty representing minorities. We are a city within a city. Spectrum Health President Tina Fries Decker says the healthcare system is equally committed to increasing opportunities for minorities. Diversity is critical. We have about 20% uh, of our team members here on Medical Mile are diverse. And what we've seen, because that diversity has increased, we are actually now looking at the problems in a different way. And we're solving them so that we're focused on health equity, so that we're focused on belonging. It's just the start, but one that continues to grow. 
and bring more diverse minds together to discover life-saving medical breakthroughs. It's no longer a question of if for me, it's only a question of when we make that next discovery. Coming up, the Medical Mile isn't just creating jobs. Medical breakthroughs become the cornerstone of advancement when the making of the Medical Mile continues. Making the Medical Mile. The Medical Mile is not only making an impact on Grand Rapids economy, it's making an impact on the world of medical research. And the Medical Mile is quickly becoming known as a place for world-class healthcare and where life-saving discoveries are made. The Medical Mile isn't just made up of buildings towering over Michigan Street. Looking good. There is a human side to the work that's being done inside them. We wouldn't have made a life flight to Ann Arbor. Holly Monroe credits Helen DeVos Children's Hospital with saving the life of her three-month-old son, Calvin. Because Helen DeVos Children's Hospital has a dedicated pediatric cardiology team, they were able to diagnose Calvin with a rare heart condition and perform the open heart surgery that saved his life. How lucky we are for the hospital to be right there. I love you. Children from across the United States and even the world come to Helen DeVos Children's Hospital for specialty care they can't find anywhere else because of the collaboration happening on the Medical Mile. I just think about the relationship that we have with Andre Bachman and Caleb Bupp. You know, a, a scientist and a geneticist came together to figure out a new genome which is truly amazing. And now we have a treatment for kids here in West Michigan, but also throughout the world. Those types of breakthroughs are happening up and down the medical mile. Michigan State University researchers discovered a treatment for melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. MSU researchers developed a drug that reduces the spread of melanoma by up to 90%. That's just one of the many discoveries made on the medical mile. The list includes dozens more. It's interesting to think about. MSU's Dean Souza says a cure for cancer will be found on the medical mile, but it won't be just one. Each cancer has to have its own set of cures. So it's not so, it won't be so simple, but there will be cancers that can be cured here. Over at the MSU Doug Meyer Innovation Building, Banff Health is working on their cure for prostate cancer. I think it's very realistic that we can approach cancer being a chronic disease for somebody as opposed to a death sentence. And the first patients to get the treatment agree. I think the technology is cutting edge. I think there's going to be a big backlog coming to this facility. I think it's the first in this country, they're ahead of everybody else, and you better get in line and come on. Banff plans to use its cutting edge treatment with advanced prostate cancer patients and then expand to other cancers and diseases like Alzheimer's and PTSD. Just up the hill, Spectrum Health's heart and lung transplant program is also going strong, performing nearly 500 transplants since 2010. Just over 10 years ago, we started that program and now it has some of the outcomes, the best in the state and nationally, especially for lung, is truly amazing. And the Van Andel Institute also contributing to the advancements in medical research, some of which include clinical trials for Parkinson's disease and a discovery that may help save the lives of patients with pancreatic cancer. We've developed a test we believe that will detect it early to where we believe it could be treatable. That's a huge step forward. And that's not something that would have happened, I'm convinced otherwise, it's something that's happened here because we create an environment to allow that to happen. An environment that also welcomes new collaborations, like the recently announced $60 million Children's Rehabilitation Hospital, a first for Michigan, providing rehabilitation designed specifically for children. We need a more kid-friendly environment. We need a lot more space to do it, and with that, we can provide a, a deeper, richer care for these kids and the families. It's a partnership between Mary Freebed Rehabilitation Hospital and Spectrum Health, a partnership Randy Thielen with The Right Place says shows the growth potential 
of the medical mile. It's truly remarkable to think back how far we've come. And then as you pull back and think more regionally, it's not today in, in Grand Rapids, it's no longer the medical mile, it's medical miles. Making room for even more advancements, treatments, and discoveries. So we had students and we had researchers and now we have it going to the market. Coming up, the medical mile takes its next big step. A major drug maker moves to the medical mile, setting up the next phase of economic growth. Making the Medical Mile. As the medical mile continues to expand, it begins to attract the attention of outside investors. And one company decides to move its North American headquarters to Grand Rapids. The Medical Mile built its foundation on collaboration, healthcare, and medical research. And now, another cornerstone has been placed, the consumer market. International drug company Perigo has relocated its North American headquarters to the Medical Mile. The drug company, which makes generic brand medical products, will add $45 million to the Grand Rapids economy and raise the bar for new businesses to call the Medical Mile home. MSU's College of Human Medicine Dean Aaron Souza believes with this new addition, Grand Rapids Medical Mile is on the verge of becoming a national player as a health sciences destination. I think that the next steps really are how do we move from basic science to large clinical trials, that's on the medical school and research side, and how do those then move into what the work that companies do and, and moving things to market. And that's the place that some of the big centers you might think of are ahead of us, but that's where we're going, right? I think that we're really making a move toward that. A move that will continue to build a solid future for Grand Rapids. And so for us now to have a strong foundation out of our economy being health sciences really stabilizes the economy um, and it has a tremendous um, positive benefit for all the workers and the families in our region. It's a reality that Dave Van Andel says has the potential to get even better. We've got all of these things happening and they're creating opportunities that we wouldn't have had uh, 25 years ago that now we can see, not only do we have that happening, but now we can see other things that we want to make happen on top of that. Those other things reach beyond the medical mile to include a growing downtown. We're not too small to dream big. And, and so in fact, people did dream big and said this could be something really amazing, and it is. I mean, it truly is amazing when you look at it and compare it to cities of our size. Steve Heacock was instrumental in helping to develop a plan to bring Michigan State University to Grand Rapids during his role as Vice President of Development and General Counsel at the Van Andel Institute. He now serves as the President and CEO of Grand Rapids Whitewater, a nonprofit dedicated to creating a recreational downtown destination with a restored rapids as a backdrop. It is something that will feed on itself and create this mass kind of momentum. Steve Heacock credits the Medical Mile in part to the growth of Grand Rapids downtown as a place for not only jobs, but nightlife and recreation. The amphitheater will push this, the river project will push this. I mean, it's anything that can attract people, knowledge workers, that are gonna make this community stronger and better as we move forward. Moving forward from an idea that grew into collaboration that brought buildings and technology, medical breakthroughs and jobs for the future. I think the, the best part of the promise is still yet to come. You've been watching Making the Medical Mile. It's been an impressive 15 years, but there is still more opportunity to grow. And if Grand Rapids can accomplish this much in just over a decade, Imagine where the medical mile could be in the next 15 years.
Making the Medical Mile.